Hi peeps, welcome to my kingdom. Today I'll be reviewing my, sh my shop, my green eco-friendly shop from the Big Green Smile. Um, I kind of recommend these guys I think from what I've looked at so far because I've unpacked everything. They sent the order in all recyclable uh, they packed it with all recyclable um, stuff. There you go. So that's just green, uh, uh, sorry, brown sort of packing paper. And there wasn't anything packed in the box with anything. There was no sort of extra packaging because I, I ordered lots of toilet rolls and kitchen rolls and things, so they didn't need to. But had there have been, it would have been packed with biodegradable uh, cornstarch pellets so that's good so that's a thumbs up so far from the, these guys which I really like the big green smile and they basically um, they offer a friendly no-nonsense approach approach to retailing natural and organic products and offer total honesty and transparency of all ingredients which they do you can look at all the ingredients and uh, uh, they have a lot of different products on there to top up your shop with eco-friendly um, products if, if um, you know, that's your mission as mine is my soap nuts are falling down right so in my order first I've ordered soap nuts I'm already, these are for, to replace washing up liquid and washing, washing, sorry, washing liquids and washing powders for your clothes uh, and any other items you put in your washing machine or hand wash. Focus. I'm already, I've already been using these and so f not for that long, maybe for a month or two. And I am happy with them so far. I will probably do another separate video on washing with soap nuts but basically they're a natural laundry detergent they're called nuts but they're not nuts they're actually the fruit of a tree in India uh, they're supposed to be allergy friendly they're naturally sourced non-toxic allergy free laundry detergent it says detergent but I have watched other videos where people have switched back to um, uh, sort of washing products because Apparently this isn't detergent, it's like a soap. So that's interesting. I haven't had any problems so far, they work fine for me at the moment. One kilogram, which is what this pack is, uh, they they uh, both last for up to 330 washes. This will depend on how dirty the clothes are and what type of water you've, you have in actual fact. So it does say up to 330 washes. For hard water, you have to use more. I'm finding that eight soap nuts I'm very happy with and the clothes really smell clean to me. Uh, it's very, very hard water around where I live. Uh, but either way, they last eight. They do last ages. I'm saving lots of money on washing detergent for the clothes. So it's an average of three pea per wash. They're vegan, vegan, sorry, hypoallergenic and totally biodegradable as they're completely natural. The packaging they come from is, is a linen, completely natural packaging as well. Suitable for all, use in all types of washing machine. Natural laundry detergent. So there's this is a, there's different brands of this. This is EcoZone. Uh, but I've, I've got another brand at the moment. But they're all, they're all just the same product inside. And they all have more or less the same thing. They come with a little pouch, which it's showing there. Well, it would be if my phone would focus on it. That you can put the soap nuts in. I have two of them now, and I use both of them to spread the nuts out a little bit around the washing. Um, so you put the required amount of soap nuts into the small bag provided, and zip it up in the bag. You place your laundry in the machine with the soap nuts on top. And run your normal program at the end of the wash remove the bag of soap nuts and allow to dry these can be reused four times so I don't actually do that I actually let the nuts dry in between my washes and then I check the nuts because and I will go into this in more, sort of more detail I check the nuts and you can see when the nuts are soapy because they've got like this waxy 
stuff on them, waxy soapy stuff on the inside. So I actually check that when they're dry, I check it. When that's gone, I throw it away and replace it with a whole new nut. So that's what I do. And this is some of the guidance for using in water. It just does not want to focus, does it today? So lightly soiled, it says soft area four, hard water area five. Heavily soil clothes, five in soft water areas and six in hard water areas. There's varying information about how many, but I, I basically try and stick to having eight nuts. But, you know, you can just, whatever you want really. But I'll come, I'll come, I, I do recommend these at the moment. I recommend them. I haven't been using them for that long, but I recommend them. I've just noticed that there's in this eco zone pack, I can hear it in there. There is a plastic bag, I think. Yep, yeah, that's plastic. I can feel it's plastic. Not impressed with that. The other brand that I use does not come with a plastic bag. Not impressed with that. So, EcoZone possibly won't be getting again because I think they've got plastic wrapping. Hold on, I'll show you the other brand I have. It does not come with plastic wrapping in. Cheers. These ones, Living Naturally Soap Nut Shells. That's a smaller pack. They're lasting me ages. They've lasted me um, nearly, must be two months already. And here they are. Last me absolutely ages. I don't know where my, oh, my two little soap nut bags are drying outside because I've done washing today. But no plastic in that brand. So I'd recommend that above EcoZone, the sounds of it. This pack... And they all cost about the same, the amount you get, whether it's 500 or one kilogram. Uh, for this one kilogram pack, they're about 12.99. So it sounds expensive, but they will last you ages if you use them. So that's the nuts in this order. Um, kitchen towels. I have been using bamboo kitchen towels that are rewashable and reusable up to 85 times. But there's, I'll only use them for certain things. And there's some things you want kitchen towel in. You just really want to use it as a one-off. Like I, you know, I might collect my wrappings from my foot. Uh, my, not my wrappings. My um, when I cut fr fruit and stuff up, I might keep the peels and stuff. I want to put them straight in the bin. I don't have a composter at the moment. That's something I'll probably look into in the future. Um. Oh, by the way, there's just some things like you want to clean your glasses or something, and. You just want a kitchen towel that you can throw away. So these ones are really good. They're very, they're very reasonable at 175 a pack. Um, the wrapping is compostable, biodegradable. The tissue inside is recycled paper. It's all obviously that's recyclable and biodegradable, or at least biodegradable. And um, they feel like most of the stuff I find, because you're paying extra money, it is usually pretty nice quality inside. Uh, yeah, 100% compostable wrap, 100% recyclable paper, 100% commitment. So they're quite reasonable, and I'd recommend using this pack. Uh, so there's some other things on there, but I better not go through too many of them, otherwise it'll be... Is wrapped in bioplaster so they're wrapped in bioplaster plasticizer free and fully compostable packaging it will biodegrade totally under non-toxic industrial composting conditions with the influence of soil based microorganisms made from potato starch it is both sustainable and renewable because i as i was looking around i was finding a lot of recycled kitchen rolls everywhere but then they're wrapped in plastic which is something i'm trying to avoid same thing the toilet roll Obviously, I haven't actually tried these yet, so I can't say what they like, but they feel okay. They feel quite quite good and strong. And I think they're both free, free ply. Something is cheaper once you get a two ply. Uh, this is a pack of nine toilet rolls for £5. So it's not too different to some of the ones that you can get in the shop. And it's all exactly the same thing, obviously. Um, same thing, same packaging, and quite happy with that for the, for the price. I to go with the soap nuts. Um, Pete, I haven't had to, to be honest with you, but they say if there is any stains, or you want to do whites and get your whites a bit whiter because they're not haven't got all the chemicals and stuff of um, 
uh, mainstream detergents, washing detergents. One of the things I say you can add to your wash is sodium uh, bicarbonate. So on uh, the big green smile.com they have this uh, ecologically friendly sodium bicarbonate that's in a, uh, a bag that is 100% compostable and everything is has been sourced in it's actually French <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll bother trying to read that I could have a go no oh there's a bit oh no it could be German actually but basically that's a green sodium bicarbonate soft impact resources natural or from natural resources that was do, 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 do. where are you 3.99 i'm not sure how that compares to normal ones i'm sure you can get it cheaper but good enough for me you just add some to your wash to maybe bright uh, brighten your whites and all that malarkey or get some stains out and uh, obviously it has about a billion other purposes as well which may come in handy because um as i'm trying to be green um i bought some bin liners i have touched on this in another video where i'm, I'm trying uh, i i found some very expensive bin liners these ones they they both are degradable there's 15 of them for do, 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 where are you? Two pounds and nine pence. So price wise, you know, they're getting quite reasonable. So for four four pounds eighteen, you can get thirty of those. So it's a little bit more expensive, but not as as expensive as the sample that I tried from another a website called EcoVeg, which are a lot more expensive. Probably much greener, but much more expensive and. Even though I'm prepared to make some sacrifices with things like bin liners, you kind of, we use them a lot. We use like, we more or less change it every, uh, one bin liner every day. So, you know, uh, there's only so far I can go as a single parent money wise. But they're more reasonable for the price. Um, says, after its useful life, this unique product will degrade totally and harmlessly. So it's an improvement on just getting plastic ones this plastic really is 100% degradable fantastic it's fantastic plastic I'm not sure how that's possible and it's something I would have to look into um, but if that's what they say on here and they claim it's probably the case so I don't it does have that kind of slightly more it looks a bit plastic here it's interesting I might have to look that up. I'm not sure about that, but that's what they say. It's degradable. I hope they're not pulling one, but they might be, but who knows. Another thing I use sometimes is um, dry shampoo. Um, when you haven't got time to wash your hair or whatever, I'll have a little squirt of that. Dry shampoo is a fairly natural product anyway, because it's based on, I think it's rice or something like that. Um, but it's an aerosol can. It, this one is more expensive. I don't know how long it'll last because it's new and I haven't used it yet. It costs $9.99 for this little bottle, but it's not aerosol. Um, it's called N Nature Tint. Naturally, I can't read it better. As volume and texture to hair. It's made of rice and barley starch, which I believe the aerosol ones are, the cheaper aerosol ones, are made of the same thing their aerosol yeah, yeah and oh, extract which I think is all the same but this one I guess is a plastic bottle which maybe is more easily recyclable it might actually even though it's more sometimes the stuff actually lasts longer so you make your money back that way I don't know yet though uh, what's it say on here 100% natural origin so it's eco cert green life according to cosmos standard available uh, so it's a hundred percent natural origin so i guess the ingredients perhaps are natural <laughs> but then hmm. yeah i'm not sure about that i'm not sure whether that's just really not as good i'd have to in terms of being more ecologically friendly i guess uh, if they'd said it was all organic, that might be a plus. They haven't put that. They've put it's 100% natural. 
Well, any rice, barley and oat is 100% natural, which is uh, what more mainstream products are cheaper based on the, uh, the, but this one is in a non-aerosol spray. Obviously, this plastic will all be recyclable. I'm not sure what is more ecologically friendly to recycle, whether it's cans or, or plastic. So I'm not sure about that one. But I'll give it a go anyway and see what I think. Maybe look into it a little bit more. And if I feel I need to do a separate video on it, I will. This is some olive oil soap. I wanted a really gentle soap to switch from using plastic, plastic enclosed face washes and things like that. So I wanted something that was natural to use on my face. So I found a, a natural bar of soap that's just made from olive oil. It looks natural, <laughs> very basic. Let me smell it. It smells of nothing in particular. It's Oliver, it was 165, 169 it was. And um, it says, it's made from pure unrefined olive oil. Oliver is a kind and gentle to the skin. Oliver is not tested on animals, contains no artificial colours or perfumes, is completely vegetarian and vegan, and is 100% biodegradable. Came with no plastic, just a cardboard box that can be recycled. Absolutely no other wrapping at all. So I'll maybe be giving that a go on my face when I do run out of my, my the products that I have at the moment. Yeah, water, olive oil, and some salt in the ingredients for some reason. I guess all soaps have to be made with something called lye, which, because um, that makes them into soap. I, I suspect it's a natural product, but that's fine. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Uh, the other thing I've got is some, um, I've got a daughter and the carpets get a bit messy sometimes. I wanted to get a more natural carpet cleaner. So I found this natural and clean dry carpet cleaner with a free brush included which I think it's up in from other reviews it's at the bottom of the bag which yeah it is that's interesting um, so it's a unique micro sponge technology cleans all carpets it claims to be natural Uh, natural, organic and biodegradable, unique active plant formulation for gentle effective cleaning, suitable for use on all types of carpets including wool, leaves carpets ready for immediate use, solvent and phosphate free, safe for people, pets and planet. So you just um, vacuum the carpet, apply it, you sprinkle it, you work it in with the brush, do not brush aggressively. Leave to absorb dirt. So I think it kind of works by kind of absorbing the dirt in the carpet uh, for a minimum of 10 minutes or until completely dry before vac vacuuming away. Storage. Da, 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 your guarantee. I can't see anything about the packaging. So unfortunately, the packaging is plastic. Which is a shame. I would like to say even the bag that they wrapped this um, sodium bicarbonate in is, is biodegradable vegetable. So big, that's good. So there's two bits of plastic in here so far. But that's not bad out of all this stuff. Out of what you'd usually get in the shot, everything would be in plastic. I know there's a bit of plastic in there, unfortunately. But that does not have to be if you get the other brand. Uh, there's this that's in plastic and there's this that's in plastic. This isn't so bad because it can be put in the recycling. But this, eh, eh, no good. This is cotton wool. This is, this is a French cotton wool by the sounds of it because I, I have to clean my eyes because uh, I'm prone to something called blepharitis. So I have to keep my eyes clean. Um, and I, I do that using cotton wool and hot water and some baby shampoo at the moment. So I found it quite hard to find some cotton wool that was not wrapped in plastic and this I think was the only one I actually managed to find if I remember rightly and it's called Deuce Nature it is three pound a pack uh, which is a bit more expensive um, so I've got to decide if I'm happy to make that sacrifice usually I can pick up this sort of co cotton wool pleats these are for a pound 
So it's three times the price as I usually pay. Or yeah, three times the price. Um, but maybe I can. Um, I don't know. I don't know. That that would be a sacrifice I'd have to make, I guess, is to just think. Okay, I'm paying it extra two quid. Um, but the good thing is, this is not plastic wrapping. It's biodegradable. It's organic cotton. The whole thing is organic, biodegradable, eco-friendly. Uh, but yes, it, instead of costing me a pound, it cost me three pound a pack. Maybe now that I'm actually a a big green smile customer, you I think you can get little offers and things. So you can collect points and you can make green savings. So if I use them again to do orders, which I'm sure I will, so I'm very happy with this with this lot um, and the th sort of things I can get from there uh, in terms of plastic and things, really, um, <clears throat> I may be able to get some money off in, in the long term through offers from the company, from the website. So that may be a way around it or through points. Just rewards on your most frequently bought products. So they kind of reward you on your most frequently bought products. So that's good. This would be a very frequently bought product. I ordered a sample, which is in a papery type wrapping of a, a children's shampoo. Because I do have a girl. Um, she, I'm thinking about trying the soaps for my hair. You can get soap bars for shampoo and for conditioner i may try those but my daughter i'm pretty sure will not want to do that so this is an organic children's shampoo sample which i'm going to try and i also got a toothpaste which will be fluoride free um there's quite a number of different toothpaste alternatives out there they're not in short supply so uh, they were offering a couple of free samples and this is what i thought i'd i'd try at the moment i use colgate toothpaste but i thought i'd try one obviously i'm a bit low like, no fluoride and toothpaste are, are my teeth all gonna rot and fall out but so i'll probably do a bit more research but i'll almost certainly try uh, trial them anyway so yeah so that's that shop oh, i wonder if any of this video has actually been in focus it just does not want to know so yeah that's my latest shop um big green smart uh i'll link it in the description i hope um somebody out there finds this helpful um if you have any Please comment below if you have any tips for me the other way around. If you found it helpful, if you want me to review anything else, if there's anything that you're interested in, if you can recommend any websites or any products that you really like, I can maybe make a video about those if you don't want to, if it's not your thing. Anything at all. Um, it's just my, I've just got my mission at the moment to try and get my products at as reasonable price i can or that are good value for money in the long run um while being eco-friendly plastic free so yeah thank you if anyone does watch this